I shall buy more tickets. <laughs> it's just me and this machine. <laughs> I'm going to win that amount of money from this lady. But I do have to admit that uh, things have gotten out of hand these past few weeks. Um, it's now become an addiction. I've now gone off the rails, if you will. Now I wipe old people's behinds for $10 an hour. <laughs> How do you like those apples, huh? How great is this weather? I'm almost there. I'm gonna walk to work in this ridiculous weather. It's like more snow than Oregon scene forever, but they called me in and I need the five hour shift. <laughs> I have some winning lottery tickets. I've been I've been letting them pile up a little bit. Yeah. Sorry about all that. That's okay. What's the grand total? Four hundred and five. Oh wow. Four hundred and five dollars. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Do you want to speak to a gambling counselor? Please. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to hold on one second while I connect you. Okay. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is Diane with the Help Point. Hi, Diane. Uh, my name's Frank. Frank Barish. Uh-huh. I didn't wake you, did I? I thought this was a 24-hour line. Oh, it's a 24-hour line. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. So are you calling because you're having problems with gambling? I, I, I am. I'm having a big problem. Uh -huh. Should I just tell you about it? Is it something that you... Well... well something that you're trying to stop? Well, well here, here's the problem. I've been... Back on July 4th, I won $500 with the Lady Luck Scratchers. And, uh, well, I've been buying uh -huh. them... I've been buying them ever since, and, you know, couple, maybe a couple hundred dollars a week. Sometimes. Sometimes only a hundred dollars a week. Um... So here's my problem. Um, see, I, I kind of got it under control where I'd, I'd limit how many Lady Lux I'd buy. But then they stopped carrying them. And then no one's got Lady Luck tickets anymore. They have crossword aces and lucky dragons and cash is king. But no more. So now instead of getting up there and going, okay, just give me two Lady Lux. I don't know what to buy because there's so many different kinds. So, uh, do you know when they're bringing the Lady Lux back? No. Because uh, I don't that's really. That's not what we do. We I, don't. We don't deal with any kind of that. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want treatment? Do you, are you interested in getting some treatment to stop gambling? Well, I, I, I just don't know how. I mean, I, I really thought I was going to win the big money with the Lady Lux, and now they're not around. So I don't know if I want to live in Oregon anymore. Okay. Declared for departure. Show your flight. That's crazy. What are you doing? A video? Do you have any tidbits of wisdom? Yes. May you always have sun in your back, wind in your sail. Clean your room. <laughs> and don't drink all my rum. These guys. Not Jesus! You never know what you're gonna say. Jesus! No? You're not Jesus anymore? I thought you were Jesus! So much for that. Oh, oh well. I mean, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Huh. Ted Neely played Jesus Christ Superstar. I met him. He would never do that. <laughs> he would have been a friendlier Jesus, right? Definitely. <laughs> he is so extremely friendly. Uh, that, that Jesus was having a bad day just now, I guess. I don't know. I guess once he gets in the Mercedes, he's not working anymore. <laughs> have a great day. Hi there. Any words of wisdom for the people there, Superman? Uh, try not to shove Superman when they're walking by. That always works. Good, good words of wisdom. 
uh, 35 years. Yeah, I, I go back and forth. I live in New York too. <laughs> hey, you for Any word to wisdom? I'm a, yeah, I'm fixing to go in your pockets <laughs> and take your money for you having that camera in my face. Can you give me some money? Mr. Mother Henry! You! Oh! Mr. Mother Henry! You! Oh! Woo! What we say is the $20 value you can give a love off for anything you have. I don't have any what? money, man. I'll wash it for you and I'll. Okay. Well, you know. To anything. Take it home for anything. I got no money. I'm like money. Do you need an ATM machine? I got no so money. Okay. Taking it back? Less, okay. Taking it back. Okay. He's taking it back. You know who I bet will have tidbits of wisdom? I bet Batman would. I bet Batman wouldn't just ignore me. I just got the cold shoulder from Batman. Batman? Being mean, Batman? I don't have any tidbits of wisdom, Batman? Who is that? <laughs> Almost assaulted by Batman. I don't, I don't think that's the real Batman. No, it's okay. I, I don't have any money. I'm sorry. Totally broke. Does that change it? I, it's, it's videoing. What's that? I have no change. I have a dollar to my name. Sorry, Minnie. Mickey already tried to shake me down. Well, Mickey already tried to shake me down. I didn't have any money then. Muscles. Mr. Muscles has arrived! Mr. Muscles has arrived! You know! Okay. Oh. I don't know, this guy might be more interesting over here though. Show what's up, Juan. Show what's up, Juan. Hey, sir. I do get donation. What's that? I do post for donation. Man, I got no money. I'm homeless right now. That's mm. hard. Are you making a video? I was just filming crazy shit. Well, <laughs> and you're part of the crazy shit. Well, you know, yeah, but that's a video. You should uh, do something with it. All right. Put it. Uh, send it to YouTube. There you go. That's Make Mr. Muscles famous. You know. <laughs> Excuse me, bro. My Ferrari has arrived. But I'm sitting back. Then I want to get too close to the bus stop. Feel the space they're giving. Take Taking his picture. In case I get famous, then you can say, hey, that's that guy. Yeah. Hey, no? no? Come on, guys. Don't be. Aw, the Ferrari didn't want to pick me up. That ain't right. Girl in there was hot, though. Woo. Now I'm in Beverly Hills, that is. Light bulbs are so bright they have to put sunglasses on. That's what this place is. That's a fancy place called Chipotle. Very fancy food. I believe it's pronounced Subway. 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 That's what it is. Sub Subway. It's very, it's very prestigious Beverly Hills establishment. This place here it only sells Tesla cars. <laughs> that was just a joke. You look like one of those motherfuckers from Columbine High School, motherfucker. Uh, what? Are you from Denver? No, I'm not from Denver. Are you from Denver? I'm still not from Denver. Did you think looking around would make me from Denver? No, me looking around, uh, cause, uh, you, look a, you look like a spooky motherfucker. That's why I'm just... I look... Listen, you have a nice phone there, bro. How much is that phone right there? That banana peel is yours? I, I hope you're not fucking littering, you little prick. No, you wouldn't... You better pick you wouldn't up that banana peel and shove it up your ass. Or something. All right then, narc. All right, what? I said all right then, sir. Narc? What? You, you calling me a narc? Don't ever fucking. Don't you ever narc. call me a narc, don't dude? Ever? With that thing in your hey, head. You wanna hear a Brooklyn accent? It's right here. Yeah. Hey, it's fucking right over here. You know what I'm saying, my nigga? Look fine, look fine, look good, look fine. Hey, yo, you know me? No, you gonna look down at me like that, folks. You know me? But well, why you look at me and look down like that? I don't see you. Okay. I got messy, but. 
So if I die tonight walking home through the ghetto, it's because Fast and Furious 7 closed down 7th Street to film their incredibly unnecessary movie. Wish me luck.